Hi. Today we're making a pumpkin buckle. So please, stick around. So this one... Hi, today we're making something that I don't make all that often, um, and that's a dessert, but it's, it's fall's coming on, um, it, it's, it's mid-October, it's starting to get a little bit cooler at night, the leaves are changing, you know, it's just starting to, to, to be that kind of a season. Um, so this particular dessert, though, I learned how to make when I was uh, out at Montana at uh, Royal Tyne Outfitters Guide School and Camp Cook School. Sorry, I have to put all the, the different parts of their school because they, they actually do teach quite a few different things. Um, so anyhow, I, I learned how to make it out there. i uh, never heard of a buckle before. Um, and it's just something we made, and it, it instantly became a... a favorite. Um, so now I, I make it almost every fall. Uh, you forget people coming over for the holidays and I am going to make it again this year for Thanksgiving. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's an easy thing to make and uh, let me get some coal started for the Dutch oven and once, once they come up to temperature I've got most of my other stuff, uh, the dry ingredients pre-made so you don't have to, to, to hang with me for that part. But uh, we'll get it put together quickly and then uh, we'll, we'll get started doing it. So. Okay, so I first need to get a stick of butter melted. And there's the open. I'm gonna I'm going to this is gonna be hot. Borrow this for a second. That's pretty much done as it is too. I've got a yeah, let me put that there and get that melting real fast. Which I think I should have done before I turned the cameras on. But that's okay. Um so I've got a crust mix already made up. Um, right here, which was a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, some baking powder, uh, some salt, and then we're going to add some milk and vanilla to that. Um, I've got half a teaspoon of vanilla, I'm, I'm sorry, a full teaspoon of vanilla I'm going to put in here, and yeah, it really don't hurt to go overboard with it, maybe a little extra for good luck. Press mix, which I explained just a second ago. And I got a spoon over here somewhere. My butter is melted finally. So mix this up really fast. Hey, um, I've since tried to research and just try to get an understanding where this recipe came from. I still have no clue. Um, I think maybe it came from one of them cans of evaporated milk type of recipes. I have no idea. The, every time I find a recipe for it online, it's always really the same thing. It gets a couple other special names, but it's 
what, uh, what happens is as you put this together, it cooks, by the time it's completed, it is backwards from the way you assembled it. So you know, as you pour the crust in and then the pumpkin mix on top of the crust, uh, by the time it's all done, the pumpkin mix is on the bottom and the crust is on top. And it's So I think maybe that's where the buckle name comes from. I know it's a little bit different from some of the other buckles, you know, like a berry buckle and stuff, which is more like a, a pie with half a crust or so. It's a little bit different from that, but it's a... It's an amazing little dish. I, I really love it, and every time I share it with other people, it just becomes a new hit for them. Um, after when I first came back from Montana and, and shared it with with folks, it just uh, everybody wants the recipe. So I am finally getting around to making a video of it, and uh, I want to thank the Loray out at Royal Time for teaching me how to make this because it's. Uh, it really is something. So I am pouring my melted butter into the bottom of my Dutch oven. Um, I'm not supposed to mix anything, although I am probably going to tilt this just a little bit because it's fairly unbalanced. And then the crust mix goes in on top of that. and. However this one lands is how it's going to be because you're not supposed to mix that together either. It just it just is. So if you're doing this indoors at home, then um, it'll probably be just fine on a level counter. Right now I'm a little uneven and it's just the way it's gonna be. Okay, so now for the the filling part. Um, so all the dry ingredients for the filling, which is, uh, again, a cup of sugar, just a little bit of flour, a tablespoon, a half a cup of brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, clove, and nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and put that in a little bowl. Get that out the way. A cup of evaporated milk. eggs And the pumpkin, oh there it is, right underneath me. The pumpkin. And now I'm trying to hurry because I'm going to get that egg broke up. My coals are probably moving faster than I am. So. Get this mixed up really good. Okay, so now that's all mixed up, I pour it, however it lands, into this mix.
No stirring, no mixing, just as is. I'm going to get my coals real quick. And 55 to 60 minutes. Um, these are kind of small, so I am probably going to have some on standby for about a half hour from now. These these ain't going to make it the full hour, but anyhow. Yeah. That's all it is. You just let that go for an hour, and uh, I'm probably going to swap calls, like I said, at the half hour mark. So, we'll come back in an hour and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes on the buckle, and I think, I think when I was waiting for the bigger calls that gets going, the other first batch of calls pulled themselves off. But, uh, I took a peek a few minutes ago, so um, I know it's done. I want to show you guys now, so here we go. Look at that. So remember, when we assembled it all, we poured the cake batter in on the bottom and the pumpkin on top. Now, see, it's all changed. The pumpkin's on the bottom, the cake batter's on the top. And there we go, that's it. Let me... Just make sure clean and clean. Good stuff. So I'm going to pull this. That's our dessert for tonight. Pumpkin buckle. It will also be our Thanksgiving dessert this year, um, which I've been challenged by my wife to do my entire Thanksgiving out here in the camp kitchen. So um, that ought to be pretty fun, really. Uh, anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Loray out of Royal Tine Outfitters for teaching me this wonderful dessert, and uh, we'll see you again.